What a good cash king, squeeze the cash kids, your boy Cash Turner, and you now tuned into a good story time with your boy. Now y'all can tell by the title that, oh man, this was, this was crazy. This was a tragedy. It was sad. It was funny. It was all of that in one. You know what I'm saying? I can't even lie. Like, it was, it was, it was a crazy night. But we gonna get straight into it. I ain't even going. I ain't gonna waste no time because it's a funny story. Like I said, it's a real funny story, but it was still crazy. But let me give y'all a little backstory too before I get into it. What can I start off with this? First of all, shout out to my boy VT. You know what I'm saying? Cause he he got me the job and all that. We was working in Walmart distribution, the little warehouse. Feel me? Like dealing with the forklifts and. Loading and unloading trucks and all that stuff like a regular warehouse like Amazon, FedEx, UPS, any of those. You know what I'm saying? If you ever worked in any of those, you you know what you know what a warehouse is. You know what I'm saying? You know what it's like. But uh, how can I start this off? How can we start this off? All right, it was a regular day. You know, a regular work day. You know, loading up the trucks, unloading the trucks. Like I said, got the forklifts going around. They delivering the packages off to the trucks, unloading the trucks with the forklifts, all these other different things that go on in the warehouse. You know what I'm saying? Regular work night. Like, it was smooth. Nothing too, too, too far-fetched from what we would do every other night. You know what I'm saying? We used to be having a lot of fun, cracking jokes, probably have our little smoke break. You know what I'm saying? On lunchtime, go roll up and all that. You know what I'm saying? Feel me? Oh yeah, by the way, I'm on the steps because I just moved into my new apartment. Feel me if y'all been following. And I know a lot of y'all have it. You know what I'm saying? I've been checking and I see like 90% of y'all are not subscribed, bro. Come on, subscribe, bro. What are you, what are you doing? Subscribe to me. I'm cool. Be, be, you know what I'm saying? Shout, subscribe, bro. Hit the like and subscribe button before we go any further, but... You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it was a it was a regular cool work night. Like nothing nothing too crazy from what we would normally do every night. You know what I'm saying? Filling up the trucks, loading up the trucks, unloading the trucks, all of that. Whoop de whoop whoop. So you know we working, we doing our regular night, having fun, doing doing our job, whatever whatever. And where I messed up was. <laughs> Ah, oh, man, before we go any further in the story, what I messed up is I let them talk me into a damn race. I wasn't part of the race, but what I messed up was I was like the little, the little flag man. Like, mark the set, go! That, that was me. You know what I'm saying? I, I messed up by doing that. But, you know what I'm saying? How would all... I don't even know how to even explain this because it, it was funny, it was it was sad, it was painful, it was all of that. And and even in the midst of, not even in the midst, but like after it happened, you know, we had to call my daughter mom and all that and wake her. She thought we was pranking her because it's like, she know I'm, I'm good for that type of stuff. But, you know what I'm saying? My foot was broke. I could have lost my toe, broke my elbow and all that, bro. Like, I was really broke up. Like, you could see from the thumbnail, I'm wow, dead. That's how I was at the moment, bro. Like, I was broke up. But let's continue. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's the small talk. Let's get into the, to what y'all here for now from what you've seen in the thumbnail and what you read within the title. You know what I'm saying? We was working in the warehouse. You know what I'm saying? Hello? That's Moon. That's the dog. That's my dog. She over there. Yeah, my daughter and my mom. Dog. Yeah, she going crazy, right? She just got a bag, so she over here got the little shakes. She got the little... Got the home shakings going on, you know what I'm saying? So, that's her over there. If y'all hear her, don't mind her. She has got a bag. But back to the story, you know what I'm saying? We was working in the Walmart distribution center. And it was just a regular work night, bro. Regular, cool work night, you know? Unloading the trucks. Loading the trucks, you got the forklifts going around, picking up, wrapping pallets. Oh, if you worked in a warehouse, you know they're all the same. So with that being said, we think of everything smooth. <laughs> so what I messed up is like towards the end of the night, I let them talk me into like a little race. They was I wasn't on the forklift racing. They they you know they was gonna race. So me, my crazy cuckoo behind. 
I thought it was a good idea for me to be the little flag guy. Like, the mark, the set, go! Like, that was me, you know what I'm saying? That was, that was what I did. So they had one race, you know, did it smooth. Now, <laughs> we're gonna get to the real, the real juicy part, cause as you can see in the, in, the, in the thumbnail, I broke my foot and my elbow, bro. I almost had to get surgery on my foot. Thank God, luckily, thank God I have on some steel toe boots and I did not lose my toe. Because before we get any further, go any further, one of the, um, I don't know, what he was, a supervisor or something, he said he actually lost the toe prior to, like, working there or whatever. He had the same situation happen. I had his foot ran over and all that. But with me, where mine was kind of different was my foot was stuck under it. Like, I'm on the floor like this. Ah, 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 with my foot. Under it, like I'm stuck. I don't know. I can't move. Ah, ah, ah. And one of the guys had to come in and like ride it off. But we about to really get to 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 the real story and how how I got there, how we got to that part. So like I said, you know, they they racing and all that. I'm the Marcus said go. If that's me, you know what I'm saying. Cool, whatever. Boom. So I'm sitting there. Like I said, they had a race or whatever. So this is the second one. I'm sitting there talking with one of the guys, my boy Trail. You know, it's all love, bro. I'm still good. I'm here. My foot good. If I ever see you again, it's all love. Probably could cook some music or something. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, we sitting there, we chopping it up, whatever. <laughs> and that's the funny part, like as we we chopping it up, whatever. Before he like get ready to, you know, go into the race. I don't know what happened, where it went wrong. I don't know if we probably was too fried because we used to go out and, you know, scroll up on break and a little, and a little spliff and all that, you know what I'm saying? Get the little gas going. So we probably was fried. And um, bro had the, the, the forklift in reverse instead of drive. And me being that I was so close to it because, you know, he's, sitting, he's on the forklift. I'm right here on the side of it, so we chopping up like ah, da, 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 whatever. You know what I'm saying? And then as he's about to go, you know, do that, he thinking he's about to pull off and drive. And bro, run me over. And bro, run me over. You know what I'm saying? So like, that's how I said how I ended up under it, and I'm on the floor. <laughs> now that's how I broke my foot and my toe was broke. How my elbow came, you know, how that came about. When I fell, I just dropped, like, bow. Because, like I said, it, it caught me and my foot was stuck under it. So, it wasn't just like he ran over my foot. Like, mm. He, like, caught me and then it was, like, stuck. Like, the foot would just stop. So, then I just dropped, like, bow. You know what I'm saying? So, now I'm on the floor like that. You know what I'm saying? So, that's how that whole thing happened. And then... Like I said, I was stuck, so one of the other guys that was a little more experienced, you know, I guess he came and, you know, he like, yo, watch out, watch out, whatever. You know, he got he got in the forklift and, you know, he had to, like, drive it off of me because I'm stuck under it now. Like, I'm really under this thing. I'm stuck. I can't go nowhere. It's like 5,000 pounds on my foot. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, he, he, he got that off, whatever. And then me, I had to, I had to hop all the way to the, to the, to the break room because, like, the adrenaline was rushing. Like, I'm not thinking about it. I barely feel it. I just know, like, damn, this is on my foot. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel the pain that I felt the next day and the next week and the next month and so on and so forth. Like, you know what I'm saying? The adrenaline was just rushing. So it's like, I just got up and just hopped. Like, ah, 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 ah,
but we have moved down here in um, North Carolina. This was what, like around 2016? So this incident probably happened 2018, 2019, right before I left. You know what I'm saying? So we had to call my daughter mom, you know what I'm saying? This was when my, when my baby girl was still little. You know what I'm saying? So she had to come out, get me probably like three in the morning or something, rush me to the hospital or whatever, which was crazy. Cause at first she thought we was joking. You know, she, she you know I was getting into the YouTube stuff and all that, which I wasn't taking it serious then, which I'm trying to now. But she probably thought we was playing a little prank on her, which we weren't, you know what I'm saying? This was really a, a serious matter. You know what I'm saying? So when she got there and saw that, she like, oh, nah, like, what the hell happened? You know what I'm saying? So she came with her had to take me to the hospital. We got the x-rays and all that. We probably didn't get out of there till like eight in the morning or something. You know what I'm saying? Cause we had to wait, whatever. We basically spent the rest of the morning in the hospital and I had to come back and all that. You know, all the different hospital stuff. But before it even got to that, it was just like, damn, bro. Like, am I ever gonna walk again? Am I gonna be good? <laughs> Will I lose my toe? Like and these are things that's going through my head. Like after it all, like process and everything, you know, I'm like, damn, like I really just got ran over by a forklift. But my foot, my foot just got ran over by a forklift, bro. Like it's crazy. Like that was probably one of the most craziest things that happened to me. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I could give some more crazy story times. I don't want to give them away. I had a lot of crazy things happen, but. I think by far that was really probably one of the craziest ones. Like I'm not even gonna lie, but um, yeah, you know, um, I had to get the get the X-rays and all that. Then we had to come back. This was, I don't know, maybe like a week or two later, prior to the incident. You know, they had to check it up. I didn't have to have any surgery. Thank God. Like I said, the um, the steel toe boots those helped me because it was another um. It was a supervisor, I don't know if I just said this in the beginning, it was a supervisor who it happened to, you know what I'm saying? He actually lost his toe, so, yeah, bro, like, I, I think I was lucky, like, I, I really had God on my side, rest in peace to my mama, rest in peace to my pop. I probably really had them on my side, because it's like, I don't know how I, how I didn't lose my toe, bro, or really have my foot really, like, damaged, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, I probably was, or I probably was off my foot maybe for like four months or something. Yeah, it wasn't that long, maybe like four months or so. You know, I couldn't really walk. And then I didn't need no therapy or anything. Like getting back to walking, it was just, it was just a breeze. You know what I'm saying? One day my boy Black was just like, yo, bro, go back outside and start walking. Like stop sitting in the crib. You know what I'm saying? You got to walk on it, give it time, you know, get used to all that. And he was right. Because like as I started doing that, you know, I... God willing, I was good. I was walking again. I was playing ball again. You know, I'm running around with my daughter again. Like, like nothing never happened. So, like, worry, I got to thank God for that. And, um, like, that was just crazy, bro. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, I, I, I didn't know what to think. I was scared. You know, I was, I was nervous. I was, I was, I was freaking out with all of that. Like, as anybody probably would be because it's like, that's crazy, man. Like, that's crazy. And then a lot of people, you know, as they saw it, they're like, what the hell happened to you? You know, I got family members calling me, texting me, hitting me on Facebook. Like, yo, you good? What's going on? Like, that that, that was crazy, bro. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Or, but yeah, man, that's that's pretty much the story of me getting hit by a forklift, man. man. A lot of people say it was my fault, which I believe. I believe so. You know, I take, I take full responsibility for that. Although bro did back into me, you, you, you did hit me, bro. You said you was in drive. You had the thing with Bert. Mm -hmm. But you know what I'm saying I shouldn't have probably been so close to the to the forklift that that I can say. You know what I'm saying? But word, man, it's just a blessing to still be here, and you know, I, I could walk. Could do everything regular. I ain't lose my toe. I don't have any issues with my foot right now. You know, my elbow healed good, as you can see in the, in the thumbnail, like I said. And word, I'm good, man. By the grace of God, I'm 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 blessed. That's really really a blessing. 
because it was it was it was crazy. But at the time, like at the time that it did happen, I was nervous. But like after, you know, thinking about it, it was funny because it's like, what are you doing? What, why why would you even do that? Like what are, what are you really doing, bro? You know what I'm saying? So you know, lesson learned. Things happen. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, it's a blessing that I'm still here and I'm not really tragically hurt or injured or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. But that's that, man. That's 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 what that was. And the only thing I can say is if you work in a warehouse or anywhere like with machinery or dangerous things, like please be safe and careful. Follow protocol, pay attention, don't be playing around. Cause it's not a joke. Your life and your and your health is not a joke, bro. You know what I'm saying? Take this story from me. Let it be an example to anyone that work in a warehouse or anything. Like I said, it could even be outside. Like even you crossing the street.